this video is created by Jagrat Creation. It is on departmental accounts. I wish to solve one sum here before you. Just observe the sum on the screen. This sum was asked in ICW examination. The similar type of sum was asked in the C examination also. It's a very nice sum, just observe. You are given the following particulars of the business. Having three department A, B, C, purchase in units, opening stock units, closing stock in units is given to you. For B and C also, purchase, opening stock and closing stock is given to you. So you are given the details in units. Purchase units, opening stock and closing stock units are given. On the basis of that, you can find out the number of units sold. That is quite common. Opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock, you will get the number of units sold. The purchases were made at a total cost of 92,000. So 92,000 is the purchase price, purchase price for all the units that has been purchased. So whatever the units are purchased for department A, department B, department C, the total purchase price is 92,000. The percentage of cross profit on the turnover is same in each case. So the percentage of profit charged by each department is identical. Purchase and sales price are constant for last two years. So there is no difference in the opening stock and closing stock purchase price. So the value at which, the price at which the opening stock is valued, at the same price the closing stock is valued, that is the inference that purchase and sales price are constant for last two years. Sales price of for department A, B and C are given to you. You are required to prepare departmental trading accounts. Now for the purpose of fund, preparing departmental trading accounts, the most important point is to bifurcate this total purchase cost to three departments A, B, C. That's the most crucial point in this sum. The bifurcation of 92,000 between three departments and to find out the purchase price per unit for all the three departments. For that, I'm going to explain you the concept by two different methods. Let me start with the first method. Calculation of cost of goods per so bifurcation of 92,000 is a crucial point. Now percentage of gross profit on turnover is same in each case. So to find out or bifurcate the purchase total purchase cost, I go by a presumption that the entire purchases are sold. Entire purchases are sold. So if entire purchases are sold, so 15,000, 1,000 and 2,000 is the total purchase units. It is presumed to have been sold. So department A, B and C, these are the purchases, total purchases. All the units purchased are sold. This is not the fact. It is a nostal presumption that I have made to find out or to bifurcate this common cost of 92,000. For that I have presumed. So this is the units. If all those units are sold, then the selling price is already given to you. So you will get the sales value of all purchased units. So sales price is given to you 20, 25 and 30. So you will get the sales value for all the units purchased. So this is a sales value of all the units are purchased. Okay. What is the total purchase cost? 92,000. The percentage of gross profit on, on turnover is identical, same. So this is the total sales value of all purchases. From that deduct 92,000. So you will get the profit. So 23,000 is the profit. Gross profit on this is the gross profit that may occur if all the purchased units are sold. Now on the basis of that I will work out the percentage of profit. So 23,000 divided by 1 like 15,000. So this is the percentage of profit. So 20% is the gross profit charged by all the departments. So in this sales value, the profit element is 20%. That's an important point. 
सो ट्वेंटी परसेंट इज द प्रॉफिट एलिमेंट परसेंटेज ऑफ ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट ऑन टर्न ओवर इज सेम इन ईच केस सो ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट दिस इज अल वेल्यू थर्टी थाउजेंड ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट ट्वेंटी परसेंट सो सिक्स थाउजेंड इज द ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट और यू कैन यू कैन वर्क आउट सेल्स वैल्यू फॉर डिपार्टमेंट इज ट्वेंटी इन दैट परसेंटेज ऑफ प्रॉफिट इज ट्वेंटी परसेंट सो ट्वेंटी इंटू ट्वेंटी परसेंट फोर रुपीज इज द प्रॉफिट एलिमेंट सो कॉस्ट इज सिक्सटी सो हियर ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट सिक्सटीन थाउजेंड हियर ट्वेंटी फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव पर यूनिट ट्वेंटी परसेंट ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट सो ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू ट्वेंटी परसेंट फाइव रुपीज सो ट्वेंटी इज द कॉस्ट पर यूनिट परचेसिस हियर आई वर्क आउट ऑन द टोटल बेसिस सो दिस इज द ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट सेल्स माइनस ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट सो यू विल गेट द कॉस्ट ऑफ परचेसिस सो ट्वेंटी फोर थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड एंड फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड इज द कॉस्ट ऑफ परचेसिस नंबर ऑफ यूनिट परचेस आर फिफ्टीन सो कॉस्ट ऑफ परचेस इज डिवाइडेड बाय नंबर ऑफ यूनिट परचेस सो ट्वेंटी फोर थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाय फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड सिक्सटीन आई एक्सप्लेन द सेम सिक्सटीन ट्वेंटी परसेंट इज द रेट ऑफ ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट ट्वेंटी इंटू ट्वेंटी परसेंट फोर रुपीज ग्रॉस प्रॉफिट ट्वेंटी माइनस फोर सिक्सटीन इज द परचेस प्राइस सेम सिक्सटीन इज द परचेस प्राइस वर्क आउट इन एन ऑल्टरनेटिव वे ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड इज द टोटल पर कॉस्ट ऑफ परचेस इज नंबर ऑफ यूनिट परचेस आर वन थाउजेंड सो पर यूनिट परचेस प्राइस इज ट्वेंटी ऑल्टरनेटिवली ट्वेंटी फाइव इज द सेल्स वैल्यू ट्वेंटी परसेंट इज द प्रॉफिट एलिमेंट ट्वेंटी फाइव इंटू ट्वेंटी परसेंट फाइव रुपीज ट्वेंटी फाइव माइनस फाइव ट्वेंटी इज द कॉस्ट फोर्टी एट थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाई टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर थर्टी इज द सेल्स वैल्यू फॉर डिपार्टमेंट सी ट्वेंटी परसेंट प्रॉफिट थर्टी इंटू ट्वेंटी परसेंट सिक्स रुपीज थर्टी माइनस सिक्स ट्वेंटी रुपीज इज द कॉस्ट दिस इज वन वे टू एक्सप्लेन यू दिस इज वन वे टू एक्सप्लेन यू नाउ आई कैन कम टू द सेम आंसर वंस अगेन इन अ डिफरेंट वे एंड द नेक्स्ट आई just observe i'll come to the same answer 16 20 and 24 but the operational method is different just observe calculation of cost of goods purchased see the ratio of quantity purchased 15000 1000 2000 its ratio Five three is a fifteen. Five two is a ten. Five four is a twenty. Ratio of sales price twenty, twenty five, thirty. If you work out the ratio, four is to five is to six. So this is the ratio of sales. Red color shows the ratio of sales. This is the purchase price ratio. Now, composite ratio. A multiplied by B, that is the composite ratio. So three fours are twelve, two fives are ten, four sixes are twenty-four. Composite ratio is twelve is to ten is to twelve is to ten is to twenty-four. Twelve is to ten is to twenty-four. Ninety-two thousand is the composite purchase price that will be bifurcated in this ratio. So ninety-two thousand distributed in the ratio of twelve is to ten is to twenty-four. So twenty four thousand is the purchase price of department A, and twenty four thousand divided by number of units fifteen hundred. So per unit cost is sixteen. We got the same answer by the previous method. Now department B ninety two thousand into ten by twenty four twenty thousand twenty thousand divided by one thousand unit twenty rupees per unit ninety two thousand. Into twenty four by forty six, forty eight thousand is the total purchase price for Department C divided by number of units two thousand per unit purchase price is twenty four. I got the same answer by an alternative method. This composite ratio method, the students have studied in CPT Maths in the chapter of ratio proportion and variation. in this ratio proportion and variation that was the first chapter in quantitative methods in cpt in that chapter this method was taught to the students that has been applied once again here for better understanding of the students 
Now on the basis of this information, let me prepare depart department wise trading account. Now when I want to prepare the department wise trading account, I should find out first of all the number of units sold. So opening stock plus purchases minus closing stock. So you will get the number of units sold. Now this is the purchase price per unit. This is the value at which the goods are purchased. This is the value at which the opening stock is valued. This is the value at which the closing stock is valued. Because there is no change in price since two years. But the sales is going to be recorded as a sales price. Now let us start. Opening stock A 200 units at 16 rupees. 300 units at 20 rupees. 150 units opening stock at 24 rupees. Opening stock is valued at this price. Purchase also valued at this price. 1500 units into 16. 1000 unit into 20. 2000 units into 24. This is how purchases are recorded. Closing stock is also going to be valued at this price. Sales, this is the sales value and these are the sales units are given to you. 1600 into 20. 1140 into 25. That is the sales of B. 1950 into 30. That is the sales of C. Now stock is to be valued at these figures. So 100 into 16. 160 into 20. 200 into 24. This is how closing stock sales, opening stock and purchases are recorded. Now you can find out the gross profit. 33,600 minus this. 31,700 minus opening stock and purchases. 5,700. This is the profit of department C. This is how Department, departmental trading account gets prepared for this type of sum. This is an important sum. I have tried to explain you this sum. I feel that you have followed all these things. Thanks to